And then you got Mark 14, the, the mother of all son of man verses, where he says he's the son of God, he's the Messiah, and you're going to see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven and seated at God at, on the right hand of power. They charge him of blasphemy. I guess I could ask you, since it's not blasphemy to be a Messiah, not blasphemy to claim to be the son of God, if Jesus was not claiming to be the son of man here, what, what grounds do they have for charging him with blasphemy? Number one, I, I think that he could, you, could, you could talk about Son of Man without it being blasphemy. You could talk about Son of God, and it would be blasphemy. You could talk about claiming the Messiah, and it would be blasphemy. I think you've been entirely too clean with saying, this always means this, this always means this. No, these words mean a lot of different things in a lot of different contexts. I, think, I don't think the trial scene is at all historical. I don't think any of the disciples knew, knew what went on at Jesus' trial. I don't even think Jesus probably had a trial. But, so I don't think any of this goes back to the historical Jesus when these sayings. But I think that you can imagine how the high priest, an upper class Sadducee, fully in control, how he, would, he could have seen it was blasphemy only because a lower status, ignorant peasant from Galilee was claimed to be the uh, royal Messiah. That itself, without even claiming to be divine, that itself would be, could be considered blasphemy by somebody of that class. So I just think that you can't be so clear. 